So here in the garage, I've got a shelf built and it's all encased in wood and uh, some thermal blanketing. There's an automatic fireball uh, suppression system up there just for safety. But uh, we've got two Litecoin miners running in here, a Bitcoin miner. Uh, we've got an intake from outside the garage cut through there. We've also got a ventilation fan that automatically comes on when the temperature gets to a certain height or temperature. And that uh, sends the hot air out through the uh, roof vents to keep, it, keep the miner's circulation cool. The, there is a panel that goes over this and it closes the whole thing so you got fresh air coming in outside and then the hot exhaust going up through the ceiling. On the outside I'll show you the intake. Right there. However, if you're running miners, this is a pretty good setup. I'll show you real quick. It's in the garage. I've got it automated to uh, turn off and on remotely. I can program when they come on, when they turn off, how much power they're using with this GE uh, Wi-Fi smart switch. So here's what it looks like with the panel on. It cuts down the noise a lot in the garage. This really insulates the garage from getting too much heat. Um, I am going, I do shut them off when it gets to be about 80 degrees outside to just keep the miners safe. But uh, this box is the recent addition that I put in today where I can remotely control it. So if temperatures get hot in the summer, I can program it to shut off during the day and turn on at night. It also tells me how much uh, voltage or watts the miners are using, which is nice. Um, anyway, next few videos, I'll show you how to wire this up and, uh, and then how to pair it as well. So please subscribe and uh, I'll walk you through all of that. Thanks for watching.